Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video you're going to learn how to play Got My Mind Set On You as recorded by George Harrison on guitar. Now there's three main sections you need to know to play this song, the chorus, the verse, and the bridge. I'm going to break them all down for you step by step so when you're done with this video you'll have everything you need to go and play right along with the original recording. Before we jump in though, if you're new, I've got a gift for you. I put together this awesome fretboard guide that's going to show you the five must-know chords and scales to play in any style anywhere on the neck. And this is just a framework that I use for mapping out the fretboard. And it ties right in with today's lesson because all of the chords that you need to know for this song are on this page. So check it out. You can grab your copy completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below. All right, well, with that said, let's break down this song. Let's break down how to play Got My Mind Set On You as recorded by George Harrison on guitar. Now, there's five chords total that you need to know. So I'll start off by showing you those, and then we'll apply them in the song. So the first chord you want to know is a C sharp minor. And this is going to be played from the fifth string down. We're going to play four, six, six, Five. Now here I just play those middle strings and then I'll mute the high string. Now you could bar all the way if you want and grab that high string. But that's essentially the chord. It's, it's easier if you don't have to bar. Then from there, we're going to go to G sharp 7, which what you do is you bring this chord all up one string. So we're going to be on 4, then 6, then you take your pinky off and you bar. So this is going to go 4, 6, 4, 5, 4, 4 is the full chord there for G sharp 7. So C sharp minor, G sharp 7. Then we also need an E chord, and that's going to be played just good old E here, all six strings, open, 2, 2, 1, open, open. And then a B chord. And that's going to be the second fret of the fifth string. And then I'm barring down here 4-4-4 four, four, four on the fourth, third, and second strings. And then the final chord you need to know is like a B, but just brought down two frets. And I play it with just one finger here for this song. It's an A chord. So starting with the fifth string, open, 2-2-2. Two, two, two. All right, so once you've got all those chords, then you just plug them into the song. Now, we're going to start off with the intro, and it's really just the chorus progression as well. It goes like this. One, two, three, four. So here I'm going between a C sharp minor to start, and then a G sharp seven and then back to C sharp minor. But we have this rhythm. One, two, three, and four, and, and it goes with the words, set on you. Okay, one and two and three and four, and. So on the downbeat, then beat three, then the and of four. One and two and three and four, and. Then we do the same rhythm between E, B, and E, like this. One and two and three and four, and. Now, in between those measures, we have a rest. So, one and two and three and four and one, and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now, to fill that space, you could do some muted strums. You could go, and that's just down, up, up, down, like this. One and two and three and four and 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 two and three and four and one and two and three and four and now you could also copy the melody like this. That's fun to do as well. So here you would play the fourth fret of the fifth string, then go to two on the fourth string. I got my mind. And that's it, just those two notes. 
Then the chords. Sell you. Then here you go. I got my mind. So that's four, slide to six. This is all on the fourth string. Then four, two, four. I got my mind. E, B, E. Then again. So the guitar doesn't do that on the recording. It's just. But if you want to fill the space in between, that's nice. good to just practice going between kind of single note like that and then playing the chords. Then from there we go into the verse, but it's going to take money, you know, and here I just go do those scratches, but it's going to take money. So we've got First, just an eight bar section. We're gonna go E, A, B. Okay, now the E and the A are two beats each. One, two, three, four. There's that A chord, we haven't brought that in yet. And then B, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. We're gonna do that four times. Then on the last one, we're gonna hit that B and just get off. Strumming wise, here I would just go back and forth. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, but I'd add a little accent on beats two and four like this. Then we have the second half of the verse and this is where George is singing, but it's going to take time. And we do essentially the same thing, just a little variation. We're going to play. All right, so we start off the same way. E, A, B, E, A, B. E, A, B. This time three times though, instead of four times. Now after that, then we have this to do it, to do it, to do it, and that's just going between E and A. E, A, E, A. Three times. E, A. Then we stay on E and we go one and two and three and four and one. Then we're back to the chorus. So the second half of the verse sounds like this. One and two and three and four and spending time to do it to do it to do it to do it stay on E and of course we're back to the chorus now the second time out of that chorus instead of going to the verse again we actually go to a bridge and this is where the lyrics sing this time I know it's for real we're gonna play this So we have a nine bar section here. We're gonna start just going between E and A. We're gonna go E, A, E, A, E, A, three times again. Now this time, on the fourth time, we're gonna go E to B. Now each one of these chords lasts one bar. We're gonna go one and two and three and four and change, two and three, just back and forth strumming. then E to B, then a break, and then we're back to the... So 
So make sure you have those three sections down, the chorus, the verse, and the bridge. And then when you're ready, go and play this along with the recording. And I do that all the time. I love practicing along with records. I just put them on and play along. And that's a great way to just take all of this information and put it together and see how you go from one section to the next and just make the music happen. And to help you even more, make sure to download my ultimate fretboard guide at the first link down below. And this is going to show you the five chords and scales that I use to map out the entire fretboard. And I use this for any style. I use it for whether I'm playing a lead part or a rhythm part. It's just a way of thinking about the fretboard. And I want to give it to you completely for free. It's just a one page PDF that you can print out, keep on your music stand or on your desktop as a super handy resource. Plus all of the chords that we went over today tie in with these chords and scales. So it's really going to help you put this together. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below to grab your copy. Next, before you go, I want to hear from you. Leave a comment down below and let me know your number one struggle with guitar right now. Just comment it down below so I can make another video here on the channel just helping you out with the direction that you want to go. So leave a comment down below. Thanks as always for your support with the videos and we'll see you in another one real soon. Mm-hmm.